improve motion protects us from injury. And I'm going to hit on three specific areas that are common problems or common problem areas for, for golfers. And probably most of you in here have had problems with multiple of these areas. So the first is the shoulder. So the shoulder, there's really two joints. Most people think of the shoulder joint as a ball and socket, and it, it allows us to do a lot of things, and when they have a problem, they, they focus right on there. Well, the, in reality, you cannot move through your shoulder without moving through your scapular thoracic joint. And the scapular thoracic joint is the fancy joint, fancy term for the scapula, which is your shoulder blade, as it rotates on the posterior rib cage. So this, these are actually linked together. So every time we do a simple motion shown down here, Every time we raise our arm, we call this in the plane of the scapula. For every, after about the first 20 degrees, for every two degrees that you move up, the scapula actually has to rotate a degree out. No matter what you do with your shoulder, your scapula thoracic joint is linked and it's moving with it. So, what does that mean for us as a golfer? When we swing from the rectangle, we basically, when we're swinging from the rectangle, we're sitting up here, our scapula is brought out. When we do that, we essentially unlock the stabilizers of the scapula. So we destabilize the scapula. When we do that, we open up all sorts of degrees of freedom for your shoulder, which is exactly what you don't want to do when you're going through a golf swing. We put undue stress all over the soft tissues that you guys may have heard about that you have problems with. The labrum, the rotator cuff, the biceps tendon up in your shoulder, the AC joint, which is where your collarbone meets. All these areas are susceptible when we destabilize the, the scapula by rotating out. Conversely, moving from the box, we're still taking advantage of this link motion, but what we're doing is stabilizing this, which is actually reducing the amount of motion you're gonna see through the shoulder. It gives us everything we need to get through our golf swing, but what it does is it takes out those undue movements that put all those structures at risk. So we are essentially protecting the shoulder from all those problems that I'm sure many of you have had problems with so far. What's another problem area? The hip, near and dear to my heart. Hi, Allison TG here, founder of the Anatomical Absolutes for the Golf Swing. Hope you enjoyed that short clip. If you'd like to hear the entire one-hour lecture, just click the button below.